Yes, there's always something new on the river. turning this down a little so that we can really talk about what's going on. What is our 100 year plan as an artist? What is authentically representing the self today? How do we make something authentically? How do we present art to the world authentically or not authentically? How are we- Especially through a medium that is so easy to be inauthentic and seem authentic. You know, a lot of what, like, presenting yourself online, I think, is about is presenting an idea of an authentic self. I'm Bailey Hikawa. I grew up in Los Angeles, California, and I am a visual artist and designer. My name's Scotty Wagner. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I am a performance video and writing artist. Our work is trying to bring up the most basic ideas about what it is to be an artist in this world today. Scotty really relies on storytelling and I really am um, a visual person and so when we combine our forces we end up with work that is both visual as well as narrative in some performative form that becomes a multimedia experience, which we find transcends other mediums. Because we work together and because we have different interests in what our roles are, our previous experience made us want to create a piece that was constantly evolving. 100 Year Plan is a non-linear story about two creatives in a dystopian world where we are our own entertainment and the centers of our own world through the lens of technology. A Hundred Year Plan is not scripted. Essentially, it is improvised on some level. So we have create a structure for ourselves as well as like have an agreement that when we perform this piece, we want to give each other room to react to the space and react to each other and try and actually stay present with whatever is happening in the moment so that the piece can evolve and change. This is some weird television I'm watching. Yeah. We are using this 100 year plan to look at what it means to be a creative in a world of automation takeover. Uh, we designed and used the website in our live performance to, as a kind of architecture for us to actually be on the internet during the performance as well as have the performance exist um, in a kind of another dimension, which is the online world. As you can see, they're, all the websites have a green background, so they always get keyed out. So the set is, the website frames the world, the physical world. So it just, using the OBS software allows us to play with layering our own material on top of itself. So we get to make our own video and put it on top of ourselves and as well as found video footage. And so our show is a mix of found video, pre-recorded, and OBS lets us actually mix all of these things together in real time during our performance. Um, for example, here's like a music video in the beginning. But you can see us underneath the video. Yeah. So like there's these shapes moving around it that are actually green in the raw video, but then they get keyed out and we are underneath. Okay, we're gonna sing a song for you guys. Our world is moving more and more towards interfacing through screens and relating to our community through a screen. So I think that this show is particularly about how we can both ask the questions about why and what are the circumstances of interfacing through a screen. 
The thing that I've, uh, I'm most attracted to, I guess, about live stream performance versus live performance is a different kind of intimacy that is created with an audience. It's not about how long we're doing this thing or you have to tune in now. It's more like walking into a looping thing on a gallery that you can walk in any time at and we're gonna be there and you can like chat and we'll chat and we'll do a song, you can request songs, you can call us and we'll FaceTime on the phone. You look great, ask us a question. Technology is going to keep accelerating and more and more people are going to have access to these technologies with live streaming. So I think it's important to ask these questions now and keep asking them. You want to see our setup, everyone? Technology is changing the way we experience our lives. And so we kind of want to highlight that and talk about that through the work. On the river.